welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I'm a Costex consultant in RIB software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic is keyboard shortcuts, so we'll have a look at the process of how to use these within the software. For those of you who don't know what Costex is, or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications, supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs DWGs all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIV Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with, whether you're using 3D, BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data enabling you to utilise this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to navigate and use. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify and quantify any changes meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customise your own report, producing a professional and quality output. Don't forget to check out the RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our coffee break webinars and you can also subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how to tips and tricks. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, will be reviewing keyboard shortcuts. Firstly, let's talk about what I mean by keyboard shortcuts. We have certain keys which complete functions in both the dimension view and the workbook view without you having to locate the function in the ribbon or toolbar. For example, how you would undo a move in a normal Windows environment, i.e. Ctrl and Z, is the same in Costex. So if you're midway through a measure in the dimension view and realise you've made a mistake and want to undo your last move, you simply press Ctrl and Z, and then to redo, press Ctrl and Y. We have loads of variations of this and a lot of shortcuts within Costex to make completing your measurements more efficient. So when can we use them? So along with what I just mentioned, you can also use shortcut keys in the workbook view, making navigation easier when composing cost plans and bills of quants. The topics to be discussed in this webinar include keyboard shortcuts in relation to takeoffs, shortcuts for use within workbooks, and where to find the keyboard shortcuts. So let's take a look at these keyboard shortcuts. So to begin with, we'll have a look at how we can use keyboard shortcuts in the dimension view. So keyboard shortcuts can allow you to work more efficiently with your drawings, um, rather than finding the functions up here in your toolbar, um, you can just use some hotkeys on your keyboard. So the shift key, can be used for multiple different things. The first thing is um, if you're in layer mode, then it can um, allow you to see uh, exactly what you're turning off in terms of layers. So if I go to my layer mode, for example, and let's just say I want to hide my grid layer here. Now, as my mouse has moved over, we can see it's actually just only highlighting that one uh, line there. So it's clung to the lines. But if I wanted to see everything in that layer, then I could use my shift key and it will allow me to see everything that's in that layer. And I'm happy that I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click and get rid of it. So um, another way we can use the shift key is for a takeoff. So for example, I can um, go to my conference room here in my conference room dimension group. Um, I'll use my shift key and as you can see, there's a cross hatch there, which is clinging to the lines or the boundary of that room. So I can just click and then that's done that measure for me. Now I can also do something similar. So up here I can use my shift key, um, which again has brought up the cross hatch lines. Uh, if I click, um, then that's allowed me to capture that area. If I want to include this area, I can use my control and shift. So shift captures the extra area and control actually merges the two. So I can click again and you can see that's that's merged the two areas there. So shift can be used for multiple things as can control. Now, uh, another 
helpful key is the L key. So this is useful if you've got a smart PDF like this one with vector lines. Um, so uh, as I sort of go to a line, you can see I've already got a bit of information. Uh, that means it's a pretty intelligent PDF um, and Costex can register uh, the lines from the drawing. So what I can do is um, take this corridor here. So if I go to my corridor dimension group, I can hover my mouse inside and you press my L key. And that has allowed me to capture everything within that boundary, so that whole room. So rather than me kind of clicking each individual internal wall there, um, I can just use my L key um, and it captures everywhere, like up here again, for example. So that's the L key, um, which clings to the lines. Um, another keyboard shortcut that you can use is your plus and minus uh, keys. So you can use uh, plus to zoom in to the drawing. You can use minus to zoom out. So you don't necessarily have to use your mouse uh, scroll wheel. You can just use plus and minus. If you wanted to measure a distance, um, then you've obviously got the measure distance tool up here, but rather than clicking it, you can actually just press M. Um, so if I click on M, you can see I've now got a blue uh, haze around the outside of my drawing and my, my mouse has now changed to measure mode so I can go across and measure like so. Now to get out of this, I can just press M again. Uh, alternatively, I could press escape. So that's the letter M for the measure distance tool. Now, if there's anything that I want to undo, like I said in the PowerPoint presentation, like many other Windows environments, um, you can choose Control and Z, which will undo your last move. So if I measured this room, for example, um, in so this is an instruction room, I've measured it in my corridor dimension group, which is incorrect. Um, so to undo that, I can just say Control and Z, and then that undoes my last move. Equally, Control and Y would redo my last move. So to undo, Control Z to redo is Control and Y. Now, what I can also do is I can copy and paste. Um, so I can use my Control and C uh, for copy and Control and V for paste. So for example, if I uh, get the ground floor area, for example, and I wanted to copy this, all I would need to do is um, hover over it, press Control C. It's now on my clipboard. I can then go to another drawing and I can press Control V and you can see that that's picked this up. So I can copy and paste any dimensions that I've done. Um, obviously this has already been measured so I no longer need this so I can just hit delete. And that's got rid of that. So like many other environments, Control and C, Control and V are copy and paste. So those are some keyboard shortcuts for the drawing view. Now we can also use shortcuts in the workbook view. So I've got a workbook here. Um, so for example, if I wanted to highlight all this data, um, then I can choose Control, Shift and Space. And as you can see, that acts um, a little bit like Control and A, would in the Microsoft Excel application, uh, but this is Control, Shift and Space. To come out of this, you can just press Escape. Um, to insert a row, let's say I wanted to insert a row here, I can press Control, Insert. And as you can see, that's just inserted a new row for me. Equally, if I wanted to delete this row, I can select Control, Delete, and that has now deleted the row for me. Uh, similarly, again to Excel, we have a find and replace feature. So you can select uh, Control and F, and this opens up the find segment. Um, if you wanted find and replace, then it's Control H. And as you can see, same window, but this time it's now got the replace function as well. Now we also have the same uh, formatting shortcuts. So let's just say the roof here, we actually wanted to be bold and underlined, I can select Control B to make it bold and Control U to make it underlined. Equally, I can press them again and it undoes those that formatting. Now, those of you who know workbooks will know that you can drill down to different levels. Um, you can do that by clicking on the cell itself. So for example, this one, uh, if I double click, I know I can go down. Um, 
but alternatively I can use a shortcut key. Now to drill down is F7. So if I uh, click on the cell I want to go down the level to, click on F7, you can see that's now taken me down to the next level. If I want to return back up, I just press F8 and it takes me back up to the next level. So any cell you want to drill down on, F7. If you want to come back up, F8. Another handy shortcut key is the F1 key. That is access to our help guide. So if I click on F1, you can see that that has now opened my help guide. You could also press the question mark up here. Um, and in here, you can actually search for keyboard shortcuts. So go to your search tab, enter in keyboard shortcuts, and then it shows you many different articles of how to use keyboard shortcuts. So if I go into drawings, for example, um, we can see that we've got lots of different options, tells you all the different sh keyboard shortcuts that you can use. Um, this is one we went through, so using the M key um, and any other sort of measuring guidance, it allows you to have a look and see how you can use Costex more effectively. There's lots and lots of different hotkeys that you can use. Um, equally, you can go into here, so keyboard shortcuts in workbooks, and it will give you um, a list of all the different shortcuts that you can use. Like I said, that a lot of them are very similar to Excel, so you'd be used to them anyway, um, but there are some others that are custom to Costex. Okay, so that's where to look for the keyboard shortcuts. That was the keyboard shortcuts video. Um, I hope you uh, learned something. There was just a couple there. Please feel free to go onto the help guide using the F1 key um, and type in keyboard shortcuts to explore more ways that you can use any shortcuts in both the dimension view and the workbook view. Um, so you can use Costex effectively um, and navigate around suitable to your requirements. Um, Please feel free to like this video if you found it useful um, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the latest how-to tips and tricks webinars. Um, see you next month for the next one.